Countdown? Did y'all get happy about the countdown? I did. I was like, whoa, I haven't seen that in a while. Hey, I was just, I was tripping because I was like, why did it kind of like skip kind of fast for a second? You know? On my side, I just I saw the perfect five. Yeah, four, I did too. Three. Christmas, bloody Christmas. That's what we're talking about today. <laughs> just about to ask you, what, what movie are we doing again? That's a Christmas, uh, bloody Christmas. Ooh. Who's who? Wait a minute. This is what's killer is. It's all about Deb this month. She picked out yeah, all De- the Christmas Deb's, horror movies. Yeah, Deb's I did. picking all the movies. Oh. And last night I I went and I uh, became a girl. Last night I watched a romantic comedy. Christmas yeah, she so started movie. watching girly movies last night. What were you watching last night? Um, it doesn't Christmas. matter what you were watching last night. Oh. I think you just got gas. Yeah. Uh, man. Woo. Well, no, for real, Deb, what were you watching last night? I'm not going to tell you. Her face is turning so red. Was it Christmas, cr- Christmas, Bloody Christmas? No. So I don't know in our past movies or anything like that, but this movie, do you know what it's rated? I don't know if we've done any movies like this. Um, I don't know what it's rated. This well, movie is not, it's not rated. It's, it's not, not rated? It's okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, stop, 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 stop. Before we go any farther, Josh, can you do me a favor? We're going to go old school with it. What's that? Can you hit the intro? Warning. This podcast is about the horror genre, specifically horror films. As most horror movies are filled with coarse language, violence, and or gore, the topics and language of the cast of the pod will also reflect the genre. If you have any issues with the aforementioned warnings, please press stop. However, if you have no issue with adult language, movie violence, or the accoutrement that accompanies horror films, please feel free to continue. You have been warned. All right, we are the cast of the pod. You can find us on all social medias, just about at cast of the pod. You can hit up Cobweb at Cobweb411 because he's got that info. Deb's got her information. I've got my, I'm going to make a different account. I'm tired of the old, at old married gamer account. Why? I don't know. I, I don't, I don't video game. Well, I do game, but I just do that at home. I don't tell nobody about it no more. But why yeah, but you don't have to you don't have to tell people that you gain to have the word gamer. Yeah, but science. I'm wrong. Hey, he's <laughs> over here trying to reinvent the wheel. It's already round, Josh. Just let it keep spinning. Yeah, man. yeah bro. It's, it's, it's already round. It's all round. Yep. Why, everybody why, knows why? you. Yeah. Everybody everybody knows your name. Oh yeah, er- everybody, everybody. everybody. Yeah. He's, He's from right Cheers. <laughs> Norm, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> oh, I'm a gamer. I walk into places <laughs> and people are like, "So, how's the weather?" Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I don't you know. You got some new shoes. Everybody was giving you attention on that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, my new shoes. Where are they at? I don't even really know where the nice fuck shoes. they're at. Yeah. Probably on the floor on the other side of the I room. got some uh, some white and then black patent leather with gold swoosh Jordan 1s. Really? Yes. Good for yes. you. They sound like they're pretty hot. You don't have to post those. But you know they're what we're supposed to I bet you they are, but still, I just got to say something about this movie. Deb, you have a strange way of enjoying the Christmas season. I enjoy Christmas a whole bunch of different ways. He just said you're fucked up. <laughs> that movie right there. What's the name of this movie again? Christmas, Christmas bloody, bloody Christmas. Christmas. Was this bloody Sunday. as hell. This was some <laughs> hardcore. Sh- this was pretty hardcore, bro. Come on. Don't front. This was this this was <laughs> Deb. What is he doing? I got my wolf tooth going. Oh. No, continue, continue, bro. I'm, I'm just—I forgot that I was. Y'all, y'all can see me. Oh my god! So, like I was saying, this movie right here—it was like 
it was hardcore. This was straight up like something if Deb said, like, hey, here's a horror movie that she was like, if that was like on the Deb's list of Christmas horror movies, this would probably be the on the Deb's top. Deb's list. This would be it. To me, in my opinion, because this junk right here had me. I watched it twice. Because I just. <laughs> I watched it twice, dude. I watched it twice for this. For the love of this podcast, I watched it twice. Can, what? Can I spoiler alert already? Not until you read the, right, read the IMDb. Okay. 2022, one hour, 26 minutes. Christmas, bloody Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, and Tori just wants to get drunk and party. But when a robotic Santa Claus at a nearby toy store goes haywire and begins a rampant killing spree through her small town, she's forced into a battle for survival. Sound like you're in a trailer at the at the theater watching a the trailer. Yeah, I'm hyped up about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounded pretty good, Josh. Nick yeah, Reganis. Nick Reganis wrote after ditching her Tinder date on Christmas Eve, record store owner Tori finds herself stuck with employee Robbie for the night. But the night is still young when the co-workers visit some friends in the neighboring bent on binge an animatronic military grade killing machine and as the manufacturing unit embarks on a re- rampart killing spree in the town's snow covered streets, Tori and Robbie must face a bloody battle against the odds and the electric axe wielding Father Christmas. Now a murderous Santa is on the loose, and everyone is on his naughty list. What can stop the cold, brutal killer? Ooh. So now that that's all been read, can we go into the spoiler alert? Yeah. Sure. Fuck this movie. <laughs> what? Fuck what you- this movie. What did you not like about it? Let's see. There was the part right when it started, and up until about a tenth of a second till it ended. Are you serious? Uh, why would you say that? Fuck uh, this movie. I like this movie. This movie sucks. Deb, I'm with you. I, nuts. I'm the with you 100%, Deb. Did, the only thing I didn't understand or that I didn't like was when the the robots came to life. Um, and it had already killed the two people in the toy store. And yeah. then it, then he walked out. How did he? Why did he not like see other people and kill them? Like he went straight to to that one house, to the girl's house. I know he killed the neighbor, but he could have like just killed anybody that was in the way. Like he could have just looked for other people, but he went straight to the house. That was the only thing I didn't like. I, I forgot there was a reason home. why. They drove home and then... So, here's the reason I can give you Josh's assumption of why. So, it was a military-based pacification robot that they repurposed into becoming mechanical Santa Claus. Because that's a good idea. Yes, okay, we'll live in the movie world. We'll live in the movie world. I won't live in our world here. Let's go into the movie world. Well, no, no, fuck that. Back to our world. So... Robot goes crazy in a small town, right? Apparently, nobody in this small town goes outside the house on Christmas Eve and everybody's asleep by 6 p.m. And they couldn't afford to have more people to kill, so it only killed the people that were in the story. And there was no collateral damage or anything like that because then they would have had to have more people. Are you tripping? Dude, because there was more, more people. That was it, dude. It was a small, it was a police matter. And it was just like the way it was set up, dude. That was messed up, dude. He passed t- a bunch of houses where he could have killed a bunch more people. <sighs> didn't kill no pets. There were other stores. There were other shits he could have killed. But he only killed the people that were in the story because that's all they could afford to have. Dude, Which, I they- mean, if you're doing a low budget film and all that, but this isn't necessarily a low budget film. And there should have been more class. I'm, 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 Fuck this. That's not even a reason <laughs> not like this movie. You know Dude, what bro- I liked about I liked the whole beginning, the the main girl and the I can don't even remember their names, but the whole when they're drinking and then they're like talking about movies and talking about songs. 
And like it was songs and movies that we liked. Bingo. Like, their whole conversation Bingo. was Bingo. I was all now into this, their conversation. This yes, is gonna be I ironic too, coming. I can appreciate that, but this is gonna be ironic coming from thirty three point four percent of the cast of the pod. <laughs> Oh, not tonight. <laughs> from, not tonight. From a podcast, no from a podcast that does what it does and makes what it is because we talk. But so did this fucking movie. It talked and it talked and it talked and it talked. And it was and it interesting. And it talked. The and it talked. Right. And it talked. And it talked. And it was, talked. And it talked. It's, and it it's, talked, it's called character talked, development. I'm going to go over there and go push you so you can stop scratching. Right. It was called character development, Josh. I think it was pretty good because I liked her character and I liked those dudes' character too. You know, hey, that was a pretty hot sex scene right there. I'm not going to front. That was a pretty dope one. <laughs> and the, let me tell you something else. The director, he broke every rule, bro. What did you say about not killing kids and dogs? And he, and he did this it. Dude, this dude, he did it. He did it all. Guillermo del Toro did it first. <laughs> Not like that. Guillermo de, de Toro. This is, movie, this movie can care. This movie can correctly, characterly develop these nuts. Dude, okay, okay, wait. He can't wait. He cut the kid, the little kid up, kicked the door in, and threw his dead body on top of old old boy in the house. No, that was the dad. That was no. The dad. The that was not the dad. It that had to dad. be the little boy. But well, if it was a dad, the back, then, it was, then that didn't make any sense because it okay. was like he, because he was holding them up like he was the kid, like he didn't weigh that much. Because if you was a real human being, you're not going to be able well, to hold another person robot. up like that. No, it's a I'm, robot. It's I'm not a the robot. robot. Oh it's boy, a Terminator. When he threw the robot, when he threw the robot on top, when he threw the, the the body on top of him, right. He lifted that body up and like it just like tossed it like it was really easy, like it was like a rag doll. Okay, so it, he was a robot in the movie. Cobweb's talking real, about after the robot threw the through the body. That's what he's talking about. The person that caught the body. Oh, okay. I was like, that's a doll. Am I, am I right, Cobb? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this is what happened. That guy had just killed off some very expensive bottles of whiskey all through the night. <laughs> they 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 drank. And between the two of them, they drank fourteen bottles of whiskey because you know between two people, that, you know. That, that, in, but they were little four, shot glasses. No, we were full ass grown <laughs> bottles, and then they had that expensive <laughs> bottle. It's like here's your Christmas gift that we've already drank four glasses out of you, cheap motherfucker. Hey, hey, don't even hey. show up. Don't even give that shit she as a gift. Said, you walk. No, no, no. If you're gonna give somebody a bottle and as a gift, and then that person that's with you drinks some gift. of it, no, no, that, it was a gift. It was she a gift said, for her. She said it when she gave it to her because she was like, "Oh, you're giving me this as a gift while you opened it." And she's like, "I'm not giving it to you as a gift. I came only, when I brought it." No, no. Before that, before that, she told him, "No, I'm giving that to blah 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 as a gift," and he still drank it. If you show up to somebody's house with half a bottle. That's when you like pour yourself a cup and say, "Oh, you want the rest?" You don't say like, "Here, this is for you." Fuck that shit, dude, hey, man. We're best friends, you do that with best friends. It doesn't matter. Listen to me. Listen to me. When the jack is flowing, the jack is flowing, man. That's okay. all I gotta say. <laughs> let, let, let's get back. Let's get back. Take it back a little bit. Relax. Calm down. They're in a small somewhere town, right? Right, a small town. The town's not that small because there's a downtown and there's businesses. Oh and, my goodness! And, and, and hold also- on, wait, 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 wait. They've got a record shop and a toy store. Now, small towns have like if you got a record <laughs> shop, if you got a record shop and a toy store, that means you got enough people to have a whole bunch of other shit because that's not on your priority list. And there's plenty of more people around to kill, but we're skipping that. We're skipping that. We're just letting people know. We're letting the people know what the setup is. It's a small town, probably somewhere up towards the northeast, right? Yeah, there's some government they have a bunch compound. of snow and shit. It is, it, they're it's they're in the record shop, and the boss of the record shop is sexually harassing her employee and he is reper- re- reciprocating the sexual harassment to his boss. Oh yeah. And 
she, you know, they're talking and talking and talking. You don't like this song? You don't like this song? What about Metallica? And what about Green Day? What about being snobby ass record store people? Man, Josh, you just point out like every negative thing about every single person. <laughs> Oh, this movie. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Why I like this movie, right? Okay, please, I like. The, please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. the The fight scenes with the Santa was like hardcore for real, because they tried to take this thing out and they weren't doing the job. Seriously, they didn't want to believe her. Poor police work, as typical in any, any horror movie. Yes, yes. You yes. know, um, yeah, that was pretty messed up. That was pretty messed up when she got pulled over by the police and she was covered in blood and they locked her ass up. Yeah. You know. That what are they supposed to do? Up. What are they supposed to do? They're supposed ah. to go look for the Santa that she said was. You got to secure the person feet. first. You got to secure that person first. Yeah, but That's... when they secured the person, they still didn't go look to see if if she was telling the truth. He just. That's what I was gonna say. I that was like the only thing I didn't like. I didn't like that one cop because he like exactly the long-haired goofy cop. Yes, he like uh, he yeah. didn't know how to act. He like. He did it too, too much. He was like trying too hard. So, he, no, no. So let's get to the point. At the beginning of the movie, they're watching the newscast and you find out, and they're not paying attention to it on the broadcast, that these Santas that have been shipped all over the country, all over the country, that are recycling like military pacification robots, fucking Ed 209, you have 15 <laughs> seconds to comply. Let's just put a fucking Santa suit on these motherfuckers instead of the Toy Stores. What could go knows. wrong? <laughs> Last week, the most, he was in a straight shooter stance. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, with the rifle. Like, you know, like he knew how to use a rifle like 100. He was military. Last yeah. week, he was shooting down targets. This week, he's ringing a bell. He was probably pissed off. That was a hell of a demotion. I'd have been a little yeah. cranky, too. You know? <laughs> Obviously, they pulled the plug on him, so he, he lost his job, you know, forcing an early During retirement. The, That's why he was pissed. <laughs> During the newscast, they're talking about how they're, they've gone crazy around the country, so they're doing a recall, right? <laughs> the but, are all but, pissed but off. Most, most of the issues have all just been hearsay and not validated. Most of, which means at least one of which means you know they'd get a call. Hey, that Santa, fuck that shit, get out. <laughs> yeah. But it's a movie. Going back in the movie world. Going back in the movie world. I just want to say something. What these people, these people that own a toy store in Snowy Village, Christmas bloody Christmas land, right? Mm -hmm. Are fucking jumping the schlomp on each other, and and you know eating chocolate starfish sandwiches in front of like all the fucking toys and all that and that's what they like, do it's a kid's Josh. store no 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 wait it's, it's not what a, they do. It, it's not an adult collectible store with like action figures and magna mango whatever and what fucking that? one punch and all the the what do you, what do you, what, and, what do you, and Transformers and stuff. It was a kids toy store. You don't need to be fucking around kids toys. What, what do you fuck stuff all over toys? Fuck no. What, what do you think? That guy said. No. <laughs> you and that guy said something about them. Uh, what do you think the toys are gonna see? You don't want them to see it. The toys they can't see it. No, you know, he's saying like stuff's gonna get on the toys and then kids are gonna buy it the next day. There's going to be dick juice all over the fucking toys. I wouldn't be surprised. I bet you well, some see, that's what you don't do that shit around children's toys. I can see I something. They were sitting on, they were yeah. sitting on, now, the, on, on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, big glass fucking window up in front, small they country town. Shades. Fuck those they people. They shades. deserved, they deserved getting the fucking, <laughs> she got the boot to her fucking face, and he got the fucking. With they the were, axe. They, Fuck that. But that's what they get. That's what they, they get. Were, they were doing cocaine on some of the toys. I ain't gonna fuck. <laughs> see? See? Fuck them. Fuck them. That's what they get. I didn't see that part. Oh, you, my have, God. you have a, what's the word? A responsibility. And a commitment 
when I mean, <laughs> like I said, it's not an adult toy collectible, whatever, selling like figurines and shit. You don't take out the box and stuff like that. There was kids' toys. It was a kids' toy store. That's what they get. That's what they get. You know. <laughs> Nobody deserved that. No. Nobody deserved that. That was just that was hardcore, dude. You get fuck, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. And I, I apologize for my language, but it is what it is. But if you get fuck juice on kids' toys in a toy store, you get you get a fucking axe to the face. That's what you get. Oh come on! It's just <laughs> why you gotta go so hardcore, bro? I mean, this movie. The, this not not only did I not like this movie, this movie made me mad. Why? Why? <laughs> I'm just explaining. Are y'all not listening? Because of the fuck juice? Because <laughs> the <laughs> fuck juice. <laughs> juice. <laughs> That's what I... You didn't hear it when I said it. It's just weirder hearing her say it. <laughs> juice. <laughs> right. <sighs> I'm glad there's a warning. Warning. <laughs> warning. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. have been warned. Yeah. Warning. Toy stores after Christmas. Warning. <laughs> warning. Warning. You warning. Be careful with those Santas. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So like back, 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 back to the back. point. Back to the point. <laughs> so after all that stuff back and forth, back in the record store, let's <laughs> take it back to the record store. <laughs> And the the, you know, the sexual harassment is going on, and then they, he finally convinces her, "Hey, don't go out on this Tinder date, bro." All this time that we spent talking about fuck juice right now still wasn't <laughs> half the time they took in this movie to talk about her possible Tinder date that had four kids and was in his own band and everything like that. You're telling me they needed to talk ten minutes about her fucking Tinder date that never happened about him. Maybe she would have been safer if she would have went on that Tinder date. On the Tinder date, she would have been, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She at least had all her fingers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, that was bad. Dude. End uh, of the movie, uh, spoiler. End of the movie, spoiler. <laughs> Whack. It's good shit. She just had her hand on the counter. So, <laughs> so they go to visit their friends. They take the half drank bottle of expensive whatever. Something brownish, goldish brown. It wasn't brown. half. It was more than half. It was enough. Yeah, anyway, so so they're drinking that, and then they're just slamming on the kids' toys. Special well, here. Side note: it wasn't on the toys. <laughs> side note: the setup that they had, they had the big Santa chair and all that. That was a real toy store. They recorded that in, right? So it probably they got left, some dick juice on it. They they <laughs> left that they left that set there. They left that set there. And during real Christmas time, that toy store used that as their Santa fucking come meet Santa on the, the fuck chair. <laughs> see, they don't see no problem with it, Josh. It's called disinfectant. Are you saying that, so you, are you saying that they really did stuff? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I am not saying. Hold on. Hold yes, on, he hold is. On. Yes, he is. Hold Deb. on. Hold on. I am not saying that they had actual real sex in this movie, but he actually did stick his face all up in her ass, her butt bare ass. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> Do you like it dirty? <laughs> no, not that. No, 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 no. I was just saying, it's, it's you yeah. It's just nasty. So okay. So then the robot wakes up. <laughs> I'll right? see you the song. I see you the song. The the <laughs> robot wakes up Af- after. Oh, let me get their names. Let me get their names. The main character's name is Tor is Tori. Okay. And then her employee is Robbie. And I think it's Lana. Was Lana the sister or was Lana the... I think the sister. No, the sister was Liddy. No. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Lana and Jay, the, they're, they're the ones in the toy store. After they get... So the robot wakes up, right? And you're watching through the robot's eyes. This is, this is a... 
kind of low budget movie and we knew it was shot well the film looked great the editing looked fine the colors on the screen and all that was great um they could have did some kind of filter or something that way when you were looking through his eyes you could have seen through robot eyes dude man they ain't got time for that junk they spent that junk on lasers bro they ain't Santa Claus lasers man yeah laser eyes that shit was dope he did he got all Terminator and shit eyes that was hardcore, this, Josh. That was hardcore. This, this podcast, not brought to you by Amazon, where you can get those same green lasers for 11 bucks. You yeah. just hating that. Lasers on your head? No, no, no. Yeah. Well, I'm saying they could have put filters. That way, when you were seeing through the robot's eyes, or at least rounded it, gone a little fish eye or something like that, make it look like Call of Duty style, like something like that. It's the, they, it doesn't. They use no. the money to for the sound effects. Fuck this right. movie. You had explosive. You had like straight up car crashes. They couldn't kill the Santa Claus for anything, dude. They ran over him. Yup, he was like Terminator for real. Terminator for real, right? He went like yep. Terminator first Terminator, yep. like Arnold Schwarzenegger type Terminator on her ass. I kept saying so. they should have got the axe and cut his head off. I don't think it probably still kept coming, Deb. If they cut off his they head, he'd be still going. See. He'd have just been a. Uh, 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 uh. He'd have rerouted his system and started looking out his stomach or something. He'd have did so, something. After it I kills did like them the taser too, stuff, though. Then, then it goes. They, well, they did taser. I know. That's what then it goes it. to follow them home. Right? Because she decides she wants to go back to her place. To drink. Where her sister and her brother in law are staying at her place. And I realize mm. it's her house that so she wants to make noise. She wants to make noise. But you forget this is a small country town that has a toy store and a record shop downtown and all that other shit and a double sized jail, big jail cells. Um, you have to remember everybody went to sleep at 6 p.m. So they show up all drunk ass and. and, and shoving faces in all their holes and, bro bro um, I got it the reason why he music. Followed, the reason why he got he followed them home because they were all being naughty that's why because they were being naughty at the store and then he followed them home because they were drinking and doing all that other stuff they were being naughty and that's why Santa Claus was to go kill him nope no, nope. <laughs> wrong. Yeah, he went out there because wrong. they were naughty. The That's kid. Why. The kid. Why did he kill the yeah, kid? Yeah, because the kid should have been in bed sleep. He didn't want to get his ass up. He was past up past his bedtime. He was being naughty. And I don't. Co- wait, 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 wait. The cop. The first. He was, cop? A, bad, he was a bad police officer. The first cop. Yeah, he was bad. He was How was bad. the first cop bad? Because he, he wasn't paying attention. Kids. He paid for the drunk kid's beer. Yep. He was being naughty. <sighs> okay. Yeah, he did. He did. Wait, right. we're talking about the... We're talking the sh- about the, 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 cop the black the, cop. They came into the, the bar. He paid for a co- kid's beer? No, 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 no. That's the... the, the that No. The, he didn't pay for the kids. He paid for Tori and Robbie's beers. And that's the Sheriff Monroe. That's the oh. guy from the Rob Zombie movies. I'm talking about... What was his name? Davies? Yes, Officer oh. Davies. <laughs> Because he okay. threw a gun cop. at him. The the, the so one black guy wanted, in the whole town. He wanted he wanted to. So the robot is a military robot, and he went into defensive mode because the cop. The cop was saying the, that he was killing naughty people. The first wait, wait, that no, cop no, was he not a bad a cop. At him. He pointed a gun at him, and he went into in defensive way. mode. They got in the way of him doing his work. If you got in the and way, he pointed a gun. You got it. That's it. You're gonna get that wet work. No, not no, 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 no. No, it is. It's just like any horror movie. We're we're going through the Santa protocol. Naughty or nice? There is no Fifty Shades of Grey in between naughty or nice. There's naughty or nice. And Davies was a good cop. Naughty by pointing the gun at him. He went into defensive mode. You don't pull a gun on Santa. (laughs) 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 Nope. Nope. What's wrong with you? I don't care yeah. what you're talking about. You don't put a gun on Santa. He yep. went into defensive mode. He was trying to take care of himself. So he killed him. 
And I can defend the town going to sleep. At six? At six. Why? Yeah, we they, went, they weren't asleep. They didn't we want to deal with Colorado, that shit. And we mm-hmm. went into Christmas town and there was nobody outside. And it was like mm-hmm. seven o'clock. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And then what happened? We found bear. Bear. Um, bear snow menstruation. <laughs> we, we found bear footsteps. Remember? Oh, yeah. That's why you don't take your butt outside sometimes. Because the bears yeah, are out there. That's why they were all inside. And Lions, it was Christmas Eve. Tigers and bears. Oh, bears. my. Polar bears are very dangerous. And you did? Polar bears? Yes, polar bears are very dangerous. Just the penguins and fucking seals. Okay. And rhinos and shit. Fucking rhinos. <laughs> so I, right. So I still don't understand what's the problem with this movie. I mean, it, it, it was too much talking. It just, it just, no, it it's not my Santa, cup of tea. It had Christmas. How do you go wrong with Christmas? It had Santa, yeah. It had how do you Christmas. go wrong with Christmas horror movies? It was a horror movie. It was a robot Santa that killed people. Yeah, Josh, this is something right up your alley. This is something right up your alley. And he was all hardcore too with it too. Josh, when we watched the movie, he complained the whole time. Oh my goodness. Remember when he put yeah, when he put the gun up to underneath the one guy cop's head? He's like, no, yeah, no, like, no, 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 no. Was that the long haired fat cop? Yes. Yeah, his yeah, head fuck exploded. That guy. Fuck that guy. Yeah, and his head exploded. I was like, whoa. <laughs> That's because that Santa was hardcore. He was rough. He's hardcore. He was rough. He's hardcore. He, He's hardcore. Yeah, yeah, he was. We need another. We need a part two. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, it should be a part two. New Year's bloody New Year's or what? <laughs> no, same thing. They just didn't Hanukkah get all the Santa Claus together. Hanukkah, bloody Hanukkah. <laughs> they, they just, Qu- Kwanzaa, bloody Kwanzaa. <laughs> All they do is find the parts and they put it in another robot and next thing you know, you got another movie. Winter season, bloody winter season for people that can't <laughs> say Christmas or, or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah. Right. What else is <laughs> Yule time, bloody Yule time? What's wrong with that? <laughs> no, I didn't say nothing was wrong with that. I'm just saying, fuck this movie. And this time it's Mrs. Claus. <sighs> Green laser Mrs. eyes, Santa. Claus. Yes, they need a Mrs. Claus. No, you got to save it for like the sequel, like with, uh, like they did with Chucky. Oh yeah, and then he finds her, and then they go on the killing spree together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right there. Badass I think we're absolutely for a Christmas movie. Yeah. To the people that, that wrote this, to the people that wrote this movie and could possibly write the sequel that Cobweb and Deb are talking about, and to the people that would invest into it, please don't. Please, please do. Take, take please a quarter do. of that we money. Just give it to you. It. Give it to me. And give you mm-hmm. lots of good vibes. Oh, heck yeah, Deb. I'm with you 100%. That junk was good. He had... <sighs> Josh, you were just hating just to be hating, dude. I mean... Nope. Nope. No, I legitimately do not like this movie. The, a lot of the, the, here's the, the things. The, the kill the, scenes were good. The kill scenes were great. The kill yep. scenes were I. Right. They was I. Right. Look, I'm gonna say this right now: all the actors in this movie, everybody, were great at what they did, except the long-haired cop. But I think he was supposed to be annoying and whatever. I think that was what he was supposed to be. So all right. that, did, I'm not gonna fault the actors at all because they did their job. They did what they were supposed to, and they did a great job at it. The coloring and the editing and the filming of the movie was fine. The story was kind of whatever. I mean, they had a whole bunch of stuff. That was like really good. That just didn't quite link up. What? What are you it talking about? It was nothing Josh, changed. Josh the sound was on like the rampage. Josh just didn't like the talking too much, but I mean, I do that all the time. Maybe that's why he didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I thought it was great. This movie was awesome. I don't know what you're talking ah, about. Man, he took out the whole town. The whole all town. six of them. <laughs> all six people in this whole fucking town no, is big enough to have a toy store and fucking bar. And wait, wait, how many cops do they have? How many cops do they have? Like three or four. Four, five. 
six, eight, twelve. That's it? It's a small town. Bad stuff usually doesn't happen. They don't always end. <laughs> I'm sorry, country guy who like made that song in a small town <laughs> a few months ago. I don't even know what the fuck his name was. Wait, no one expected that to happen. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Dale. Who thought that a uh, robot Santa uh, from uh, military grade was going to go crazy and kill a bunch of people? One thing, though, if I was in that toy store and they said, we're recalling these Santas because... They even said that, yeah, they, they did a call, recall on this thing. They're taking them out Friday. I would You're not going out, it up in get the, the fuck yeah, out. Put that outside. shit in duct tape, wrap it up. Throw it in the water. <laughs> hey, hey, they're in the middle of a party. Okay, there's a party that's got to be done, and there's a party that's got to happen. Okay, they didn't know, understand there was a recall that it was actually doing that. And you know what, honestly, tell you, it, 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 it wouldn't even matter. It wouldn't even matter because he would have went crazy anyway, and he would have killed them all. I have a point in reference, and I, I need y'all to listen to this. Why they should not have left that recalled Santa out. And if you don't believe me, you can get online and search this and look it up yourself. You ready? Mm-hmm. There are no more animatronic creature monster bands in Chuck E. Cheese's anymore. Used to be Showbiz Pizza. They've all been canceled and killed out except one place across the country. They're getting rid of all the animatronics. Because they kill people. Allegedly. Duh. Can't say that out loud. Uh, duh, Josh. Uh, that's what we're trying to tell you. That's what just happened in this movie. Duh. That's why they should have sent that shit back. The Banana Splits. Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, you seen the Banana Splits movie? I can't. It disturbs my heart. I haven't done that one. Because it's disturbing to me. Because I don't want to see that. I love the banana. That's splits. what makes it. They they got the rights to the real banana splits, and it's the real names of the characters and all that. And they're that's we that's a movie. That one. Yes, that's just so hard to think about. My heart. I mean, this one. That's this your shirt. heart. My heart. <laughs> your heart. <laughs> have you seen Have you seen that video? These three little blonde kids, and there's a boy and his two girls, right? And a little, like little kids, right? And they're all talking to each other. And he's like, You're pretty. And she's like, No. And she pokes him in the chest, right? And I think the little girls are twins. And he's like, oh. and He starts crying. And the other little twin blonde girl, she's like, Are you okay? You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And he goes, She hurt my heart. It was cute. It was cute. But it just goes to show here's two fucking twins right here. Right, and the one that he wants broke his heart, and the one that looks exactly the same and really fucking cares about him, she's like, "Are you okay? It's gonna be okay." And he was like, "No, she broke my heart." What does that got to do with the cost of tea in China right now? About this movie? I don't know, but that, that has got nothing to do. Sad. That has nothing to do about sad, this movie. Yeah. I'm sitting there thinking, like, what the hell is he talking it's about? That damn sweet, sweet, it's, sweet, it's, sweet. It's, sweet. You know what's sweet? This way it is. Poor is that, little kid. She broke his heart. <laughs> Did you think that was going to kill the kid? Jeez, Christ. No. I didn't. No. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to do that. Are you okay over there, Josh? You'll be all right. He like, needs somebody to give him a hug. <laughs> that would require me to get up. <laughs> <laughs> the buck stops here, baby. <laughs> his I poor give you a little heart. I'm giving you a hug. Oh my god! Fuck that hurt having emotions like that. Oh my god! Oh, I think I'm. You I, too. Oh. Mm -mm. Let's see. Oh man, I'm not allowed to turn on my emotions anymore, Deborah. That's just been happening too much in my old age. Fuck. It's because you kept them all bundled up before. I need to go back into my 30s when I just didn't give a fuck. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> Going back to my 30s, I don't know. If, I don't know if I can survive another that. I don't know if the world could survive a me now from my 30s. No, I don't think so. I'm good. What were you talking about? We were talking about the movie. Um, Banana Splits. Bl not Banana Splits. What's the name of the movie we're doing tonight? Bloody Christmas. Christmas, Bloody, Bloody Christmas. 
Right. Fuck that movie. No. No. What? Oh. <laughs> Everything was over the top. He killed everybody. He everybody. Did, except. Except the girl. Yep. Girl power. Yep. <laughs> and you know he's about to say something about that damn. <laughs> You know he is. Oh, I'm it. just gonna say, look, this Here movie had this movie had killer cyborgs, mm-hmm. cyborg. It had green eye lasers. It Freaking had bad cops lasers. and a good cop, and yeah, a dumb cop. A, a random naughty next door neighbor kid that got it, got the yeah. axe, along with mom and dad. Ooh, brutal. It had a naked dragon head scissors face to crotch battle. It was a pretty <laughs> wild up in there. It was like 10 minutes of that. You know, and that's the one thing. That didn't seem like that was too, well, they did like it dirty. They did like it dirty. This movie had tons of stuff that should have made this movie get a much higher rating from me that it's not going to get when we get to that rating. So what are you going like to get? Said, it had. We're not gonna. We're not. At, we're not at the calculator doom time yet. So, like I said, it had all this good stuff and all this good stuff, and it had some kind of mediocre stuff, and it was all lining up, and it just kind of slipped. It just, just something about the, but it just, just. So what? What? Yeah. What did you not like about the movie? Like, what was it that made it slip? Was it the talking? Was it the whole talking? There was a whole bunch of talking that they could have just. There could have been more face to crotch battles and less talking, or there could have been. You wanted more face to crotch battles? Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying there could have been this that talking at the beginning because I, I look, 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 I love everybody, I love people, right? Except fucking people like when you go into a store. And they're like, oh, you hadn't seen this album with the third pressing. Are you going to a camera shop and there's two fucking douchebags behind the camera thing? And they're just like, oh, well, I do this. Wait, I do that. It's like, no, motherfucker. You make no. all your money off of regular people. You don't make them off the camera snobs. Yes, every now and then you're going to get somebody that buys like $10,000 or whatever. There you go. But then you get regular people who show up and buy $1,000 here, $500 there. And all those regular people are the ones that fucking build your shit up. And actually pay for you that way. Every now and then you can get the the big Krakens, the big um, Moby Dick spend, spenders. Okay. Record Again. stores, camera uh, shops, uh, but, other places. But all the talking that they did, I understand. The, I understand what you're talking about. I understand the camera people and the game gamer people and all that. And you go in and you're just like shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear that. while I'm choppy. I understand that. But they were doing it after hours. It was just them two. So it was just their and conversation. We had to watch it to get to the. See, they didn't have to, the it had to one overlay. You can get an app on your fucking phone to put a robot overlay. I'm, I'm sure right now, get on the phone, put like robot eyes. And you just. Dude. And it looked decent. Why, why are you. Put some effort. Why are you tripping? Did they tripping? even give him? Did they even give him like? Yes. Yes. Walking. I didn't hear it. You know what was That's- messed up? The one thing that I had that pissed me off, Deb. It was if you agree, is with the brother-in-law or something like that. When he was telling him, you know, to go get the uh, be quiet oh, and he, stuff he, like that. Yeah. He was yeah. Like, Why are you telling me to be quiet? Why oh yeah, fuck that guy. Quiet? He got what, that was a good. That was a good thing in this movie. Why are you telling me, motherfucker? You're you're in her house. Right you're in you're her house, <laughs> and then people are screaming and people or whatever. And you're, it's not like they were screaming having a party. That is one of the things that did make me mad, though. She was like, "All right, let's go have this crotch battle, and I'm gonna put this record on and turn it up so loud in the basement that when we get upstairs in the second story, we're gonna hear it in our bedroom." Man, again, it was her here. house. <laughs> Pretty much. Here, like here, here's another thing. Like here's another thing. So, so Robbie yep. had been her employee for it was years. Christmas Eve. And she Christmas had been, Eve. she had been friend, she had been friend zoning Robbie all this time. She knew what she was doing. She she's knew what waiting. she was yeah. doing. And she, she knew Robbie was a good guy and all that. And she's all over here saying, "Hey, look, I'm a tender date fuck fest this guy." 
over here. And he was like, I don't want to hear about that. She's like, I need to get some schlomp going on over here. I'm going to some, some dick business going. He's like, I don't need to hear all that stuff. And she's just talking about her dickscapades going on. <laughs> what? <la> What's wrong? I don't know what you're talking about. It was him talking. No, 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 don't get it. I'm not not saying a modern independent woman can do whatever she wants. She because she can. Modern independent single single on her own time. You know, (laughs) she can do whatever she wants to do. She didn't need to be rubbing other people's dicks in his face. Figuratively or literally, rubbing dicks in his knowing, face, knowing, she, she knowing that he, oh my god, knew he was interested. I knew he was interested. Tell him who it was. He was the one that was like, "Show me the picture. Show me the picture." And he, she was like, "No, but she had it's done it before. Somebody. She had done it before." But she Bro. didn't want to, and she was arguing with him about not showing him. And then he was just like, show me the picture, show me the picture. And then what does he get? What does he get? Because he's trying to save her ass. A fucking axe to the face. Demolished his face. Robbie was face done. <laughs> fucking that got was, his face. Uh, <laughs> Worst Jay driver er- ever. Jay <laughs> earlier in the movie got a face full of ass. And Robbie got a face full of axe. What the worst movie. <laughs> worst like, driver ever. Back. Robot walked up to him right there in front of the car or the truck or whatever, and he's like, "Let me ask you a question." Bat right in the fucking face. <laughs> he did. You know, he asked him. He asked him, "Do you have crotch breath?" <laughs> did he hit him? <laughs> That's what he said. Robot bent down. I was gonna say something really vulgar. I'm not gonna say it. What? He did. I mean, we, we, he did. Yeah, you're right. You're right. No, but what I was about to say. I mean, we we do warn people ahead of time, and this is is, is not intended it's for over younger the ears. But I I was about to see this right here. You know what this is? What? This is the, the line. this is the line, and I was about to go fuck the line. But no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna <laughs> say what I was about to say. What? Because Robbie went out there. I was, well, he, it wasn't his fault. He didn't get, get to the mouthwash in time. So I'm not gonna say it. no. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> So, what was he supposed to do? He wasn't ready to drive the, the car. At the end of the movie, she turns, she tases him one time, knocks him out. What does she do? She rebooted the fucking system. What happens when you reboot a computer? It works better. That's true. Yeah, yeah. But she thought she well, was doing a good thing, though. Right. She did think she was doing a good thing, Josh. Everybody's not tech savvy in the middle of a big ha- uh, catastrophe of a killer Santa Claus. Come on, man. You can't expect people to women in gym locker number. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Not ladies and gentlemen. Anyone listening to this. If you're ever in a situation where there is a homicidal robot and or not robot Mm -hmm. that's trying to kill you and you get it down you stomp that fucking face or if you tase it keep on fucking tasing it and tasing it tasing it till there's no more battery and when, when she was sitting there and she had the shotgun and it was walking by boom in the fucking leg slow it down right in the fucking knee joint or whatever she you know, said you that don't too. shoot in, don't shoot in the chest because they already pointed out that it's not gonna whatever. But they showed that it took damage. That was the first thing. Davies, when Davies shot it, pat 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 pat, it fell down. But when all the other cops shot it, it didn't. See, that was bad writing right there. Don't tell me the robot got adrenaline, <laughs> got all hyped up or anything like that. Davies with with his little nine millimeter set him on his ass, and then the cops with the shotguns up close didn't do no damage. Didn't Davy give him a headshot? And even when he shot him in the chest, too. When he shot him in the chest, that's what put him down. And yeah. Yeah. Josh, Josh, what's the problem? Again. Fuck this movie. <laughs> Dude, man, why are you tripping? Damn. Hey, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not telling people. I am not telling people don't watch this. I want, if, if people want to watch it, that's fine. They can watch it. My personal preference is fuck this movie. But, um,. I'm not saying people shouldn't watch. There's movies that we've watched where I'm like, white noise. Watch that shit. <laughs> yeah. You know that's I mean? one. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not yeah. telling. It has to be I'm the telling people. White noise, I'm telling people Michael for Keaton me one. personally, 
This is not my cup of tea. <laughs> this ain't your Lipton? Yes. Okay. That's brisk, baby. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, Josh, Josh, just... What's that noise in the background? Because we're not going... We're just going around in circles. That noise is me going, fuck this movie. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Could y'all hear it that time? Yes. Yes. Sound all right? Uh, yeah, sound all right. Time, time for the calculator of doom. Who's going to go first? Me. No, I'm sorry. I'll go last. I'll go last. Maybe I'll surprise you. Maybe I'll surprise y'all with what I got to say. I'll go first. Two. Hold go on. Right let down. me try something real quick. Hold on. Let me try something real quick. Uh, share screen. And nope. Don't want to share that. Share window. Boom. Share. What? <laughs> there it is. Right there. <sighs> Calculator. Okay, so so Deb, go ahead. I really enjoyed this movie. And it, it had everything. It had Christmas. Uh, it had mm-hmm. horror. It had a robot Santa that killed. It had everything. I gave this movie an eight. I really like it. I did eight. really like it. Plus, I enjoyed. I enjoyed watching it, and I might watch it again. Not when I'm wrong. <laughs> In the room. Hater gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> no, they go cup of hate. Hater Ray for Josh over there. He's quenched. <laughs> <laughs> we have more than one TV. We got Cobweb. two. <laughs> I'm going to give this movie a uh, eight as well. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good because we don't get that many good horror Christmas horror movies. There's not that many of them out there. Let's be honest. And this one was a one that you could sit up there and say, "Yeah, this was a Christmas horror movie." You know, no thoughts about it. It didn't give two fucks about a lot of shit, and it stuck to the game plan. You know, it kept to some of your basic horror movie stuff you know that was gonna happen you just gotta let it happen I mean it's a solid 8 for me man I'll watch it again I already well I already did I watched it twice where did you watch it at? I watched it on Shudder I think you so Shudder also yeah yeah so like I said this movie had a whole bunch of good stuff that just didn't link up something about it didn't sync with me mm. I'm not, I'm not telling people don't go watch it. Like I said, there's movies that we have seen where it's like, don't go watch this. Please don't go watch this. And I'm definitely not saying that about Christmas, Bloody Christmas. So for me, personally, if y'all want to go watch it on Shudder, go check it out. I'm giving it a five. Really? Really. <laughs> it's all right. Five is I. Yeah, it's in between. Five is not bad. Five is not great. It's I. It's I. <laughs> It'll probably be on rotation again. And what do we got for a score? Seven. Seven. Okay. It's still good. It's still good. Yeah, for a horror, Christmas horror movie. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, yeah. It was decent. I enjoyed it. Do you know what the tagline for this movie was? No. No. You better not cry. Because Santa Claus is That's coming it. to town. The, if, if anybody wonders why I cranked it up a little bit for this episode, I really this is what I felt about it. So I'm not faking about the, 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 the way I felt about it or anything like that. And the things I didn't like is what I really didn't like. But if my language went a little fuck juice about it, it's because... <laughs> I, 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 fuck juice! <laughs> and, and, it's the word of the day. Fuck juice. Hashtag fuck juice. When I say that, when I say that, I want this to be clear. Hashtag fuck juice. You, you have to be careful with the audio quality. I don't want anybody to think I'm talking about any type of religion. I'm talking about juice. J-U-I-C-E. Juice. All okay. caps. Which, uh, I don't want to get, I don't want nobody to get, we don't, t- we don't bring up politics and religions is, is up here at Cast the Pod. Because you know somebody's oh, going to hear it and be like, you know what he said? I am uh, saying it right now. Right now. I am not, going, I'm not going down with this shit, Deb. That's your man. Get him under wraps right now. 
He is tripping hard. By him. You know I how they have orange him. juice? Orange juice? That's juice. That's what we're talking about. The movie juice. Juice. Yeah. juice. There you go. <laughs> all right. So the reason I, I bring up the language and all that, this film, this film features 487 uses of profanity, which with an average of 5.6 profane profanity curse words, 5.6 per minute. Well, most of it was her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. Said a lot of cuss words. Man, it, that joke was hard. I think it was like three hundred of those. Three hundred of of those words were, were the beginning conversation between them yes. two. <laughs> it was fuck. They, they shot it this movie. How shit. long do you think it took them to film this movie? Two days. Three days. Seven and a half weeks. Oh. Wow. What? See, see, y'all know this movie wasn't all that because they are like, oh, they filmed this movie in 16 hours. And then I tell you, it took seven and a half weeks, and you're like, what? I saw well, y'all's faces, and anybody who's watching the YouTube version of it too saw y'all's faces. Well, yeah, it's just, it looks like it's, well, not to say it's easy to film, but I'm just saying they made it. This movie was so good that they made it look like it was in two days. Well, Josh, you yeah. did say that it was the color and everything was good on there and stuff like that. Yeah, so. no, I'm not saying that I'm shocked about the seven and a half weeks. I'm saying that the two of y'all, it was like, it was like this movie was done pretty good for being thrown together in two days. I'm like, seven and a half weeks. Y'all like, what? <laughs> that's because you hyped it up. That's because you, that's because you hyped it up. You had made me think it like it was something like a, some quick time that they yeah. did it. You know, you kind of influenced the poll. You know, yeah. that's so, what you did. I agree. So, so here's some, some quick cameos. Joss Esther, the producer, was the bartender. That's cool. Yeah. Rachel Grady, the costume designer, is hugged by Tori in the shop. Okay, I, I, didn't, I don't even remember no. that person. Yeah. Right? The art director, Elliot Gilbert, was Officer Davies. Hmm. That's, that's a good role. He got some good time there. Yep. And Joe Bagos, the writer, director, producer... Is Benny mm-hmm. the second neighbor who got hit by the car? Is that the guy that had the ranchero? Oh yeah, I think so. And I know it's a ranche- <laughs> I know it's a ranchero, but you call the, the car's called a ranchero. A ranchero. ranchero. Say it again. Say it ranchero. again with the roll on the tongue, Josh. Hey, ranchero. Ranchero. Nice. Ranch- no, nice. but I mean, when you say the car, it's just like it's not a, it's an El Camino, but the other company version is the ranchero. <laughs> eh, it's getting too confusing to me. Yeah, he even said that, right? Maybe you hit my ranchero. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really disappointed in so, you today, Dosh. I'm disappointed. Car. What? For for sharing my honest opinion with the peoples, with our pod people. Shout out to our Patreon pod people. Everybody that's out there. Shout out to 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 Mike. Shout out to Brendan. Shout out to 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 um, Aaron the Foreman. Shout what out up, to Sean. Aaron? Sh- <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Matt. Shout out. Shout out. Y- y- y'all. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Where's it at? My head fucking hurts. What's going Here on, Matt? Go. This is for. This is for y'all. I'm down with yeah, that. You get cast in the pod hoodies. Yes, it's because it's cold. Yeah. I would wear it every day, even in the summer. I don't have a cast in the pod. Get on our bus. I don't either. No, I'm saying we need to get hoodies. Cast oh, sorry, pie hoodies. I want to get satin. We should get members only jackets. We cast with a cast the pot on it. We'll be the last three members or what? No, we're going to adjust the new tier. That's what you get yeah. if you get signed up for the, yeah, for the hundred dollar tier. You sign up for the hundred dollar tier. You get a members only jacket with your name embroidered on it. That says cast of a pot. After four months at $400. Hmm. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> It sounds good yeah. to me. <laughs> sounds fucking awesome to me. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now that we switch back to Riverside, we're, we'll see. I mean, you, I know you picked up that brand new snazzy headset right there, Cobweb. You sound great, by the way. Yes. <laughs> How you like me now? Uh, not that I'm pointing out the last few episodes when we were on another product. 
when Cobweb had not as good as his headset microphone. Um, he, was, he was a robot Cobweb. Definitely not pointing that out. <laughs> Dude, I tried everything. I was trying everything, man. I was trying to keep it going. Oh, I, I damn. Think, Deb just ain't going to let it go. It, no, 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 no. no. Kick a I brother when he down, Deb. Kick a brother when he down. No, 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 no. I, I think it was a mix, an amalgamation. A, I just a, didn't a click. storm. A storm of, like, solar flares and shit. That, like, my hands are two different colors. What the fuck? Look at that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How that shit happened? No, I think it was like solar flip. What? I think it was like solar flares or something like that that, that caused that your, your your microphone issue. Well, you know yeah, what? It's over like now. Magnetic storms. Yeah, yeah. The solar flares are over. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't look up in the sky. I should have yeah, checked. Good. That's good. Can you see like when the magnetic storms get really bad? Can you see the the northern northern lights? Over there in Chicago? No. Nope. You can't see any of that. I don't even know you would you know ask what? that. The, 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 With all this that movie wasn't, stuff. This, this movie wasn't that bad. I'm still sticking with my five. But right now, y'all opened up this punch. This fucking... Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? The... I could have came yeah. in with the punchline. Y'all, y'all opened the door. I was, finna, I was gonna say that... I'd much rather look up at the the solar flares and stare at the sun than watch this movie. But this movie wasn't that bad. This movie was I re- I'd rather I'd rather watch solar flares from Earth with my naked eye than watch <laughs> white noise again. And I'm talking I'm talking about the white noise with Adam Driver, uh, who's you, who's a great actor. Oh my god! Just not in that movie. Just not in that movie. Uh, well, no, no. You know what? I mean, he did what he was supposed to do in that movie. It's just that movie. <sighs> that movie didn't. Even- Click. Dad, what's the next movie we're supposed to be doing? Why are Can my hands it? different colors? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> the f- <laughs> you need to get your blood pressure checked, bro. I needed. To, I should have took my meds at seven. It's already eight twenty over here. Shit. What's the next movie, Deb? Can I say it? Yes. Oh yes. So right Next. now, this is episode number... 99. 99. Whoa! So Woo! the next episode, the next episode, and, and we might have Chuckles on for this next one with us for, for mm, 100. Mm, 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 mm. See, see if his connection works. See, seriously, we, we tried to do one with Chuckles a while back, and you think I was giving you a hard time about it, bro? He knew what the job signed up for. His, his little bird, his little bird in the, the the treadmill, like looked at him and said, "Nope, not sending that internet signal." <laughs> he's he's got a cord though. He's he's got a cord now. But um, yeah, the next episode's gonna be one hundred. Jeez, we gotta come up with something. Let's have wings. Man, I've had wings this past Thanksgiving break. We did we have wings stop like what three times? Yeah, that's fat. <laughs> That's hey, I'm, not knocking, I, I'm not knocking Wingstop because we went there. We got our own saved order, and that third time we went there, like, hey, you, just like <laughs> Norm. We didn't even order; they just gave it to us. <laughs> wow! <They> already knew. <laughs> you already know what the price is. Just leave the money on the counter. Yep. Like, That's what it is. Like, so yep. our next episode. <laughs> wow, we're actually gonna tease our, our future episode. Yeah. Why not? It's episode 100. You're the mean one, Mr. Grinch. Oh, You're snap. You're and evil and cool. Ooh. This is going to be the good. Mean, the mean one. No. Not the Jim Carrey not one. Not the Jim the Carrey. Mean Even one. though that one is one of my favorite movies. But do you know they're making a part two of that one? Okay. No, they're not. Oh, which Jim one? Carrey. Jim Carrey ain't coming out for that movie. Jim Carrey's done. Wow. Jim, Jim Carrey smarted the world about the stuff that's happening behind closed doors and, and the evil things they're doing. Wink. Wink. Allegedly. Jim, Jim Carrey's done. Like I said, like I said, it is be a good movie. Wink, wink. <laughs> 
<laughs> the mean one. The mean one. So that's what we're <sighs> doing next week. If, Deb, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this holiday season with him. Why? He's already <laughs> on 10. Don't give me any more peppermints. No more candy canes. <laughs> no, he's not eating candy. He has I'm going to start doing Yeah, I, I drank, <laughs> I drank a, a caffeinated beverage, an energy drink at the beginning of this podcast and killed it off right as we started and all that. I'm going to do that from now on. Oh, geez. You got to let us know, man, so I can mess around and get one myself. Don't be sitting up there getting all hyped up and stuff like that. Then thinking like, people like, what the hell? Deborah, no, don't put that damn Seattle-based <laughs> whatever shit up on my screen. Okay. Oh, sorry. man. I take it back. <laughs> Even though we buy that shit all the time. <laughs> people are Oh, they're shit. not paying us. They're not oh. paying us. Oh, she's she tell, tell the truth, Deb. He tell the truth. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So we we gave <sighs> Christmas Bloody Christmas a seven. It it ranks a five point one on MDIB. That's good enough for me. Watch it, guys. So, so we, you guys we, gave it, we gave it a higher rating than four point seven thousand other people, according to I'm Deb. MDIB. Indeed. I like Indeed. You're right. So, what's the problem? We enjoyed it more I, than I, them. I, I, I didn't. I. I. I hey, I that's the score. Hey, it. no, that's the score that's up there, Josh. That means that you enjoyed we, the movie. That means you enjoyed it too. Team, the Dream Team gave it a seven. I can't argue that point. Yeah. Right. Though y'all are completely fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> For one time, wrong. you're wrong. <laughs> Not one time. <laughs> Man, my exactly. Are- All right, Deborah. Do we need to go out to the car and get the nose spray bottle of the generic brand nose spray? You're right, Deb. Yeah, look at my eyes, Deb. What? We're podcasting here. You one brought it up. <laughs> she's, over there, she's over there fucking picking eye boogers out of her fucking I'm not uh, picking the, eye boogers oh, right. look at my eye ladies and gentlemen how you doing there tonight hi <laughs> <laughs> this is cobweb breaking in cobweb. Wink. Wink. right it, right and um, <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that this has been another great <laughs> episode of Cast of the Pod what, what do you think this what do you think this is WKRP in Cincinnati we can't say boogers Dude, Dr. man. For, for, the youngins, for the youngins out there, Dr. Johnny Fever on an old TV show where they dropped turkeys out of helicopters for a turkey giveaway, and the guy was like, I thought turkeys could fly. But in one of the DJs, that was his last chance at a job because in that world back then, he said boogers. Boogers on live radio, so he got blacklisted. And he could only be at this one place that the dumb radio owner, whatever manager guy, had him on there just out of a loyalty of friendship and stuff like that. Because nobody else would pick him up because he said boogers on the radio. Can you imagine that shit? <laughs> Josh. What were we talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, you have been warned. <laughs> You have, pure, you have been purely worn 100% about this episode. You knew what was coming. You saw you saw the runway that was coming down the street. And you guys all signed up for it. Every single one of you. Jumped on the bus. You jumped on the bus and you came down the street with us. And now we're here riding and now we're here. And guess what? <laughs> and you're stuck. <laughs> and you're stuck. And it's tight. You're off. That was playing in the background. Keep on, keep, keep on going. No, no. That's it. That's it. That's it. We need That's like it. music. We need, we need like the slow, um, dramatic music in in the background. Well, Next time Cobweb well, goes off on a tangent like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help myself, man. I can't, dude. That was the, it. Was a good speech. Thanks. We thanks. Put our hand, uh, and by the by the end of it, he's gonna be like, and for only thirty seven de- cents a day. You can save kittens from getting stabbed in the head with pencils. Rest in peace, Patrice O'Neill. Oh boy! You're trying to get Patreons so they can save save kittens, <laughs> the kittens I, of the world. <laughs> fuck kittens them damn kittens! <laughs> you save kittens. 
kittens and puppies if you become a Patreon. I need to be a t-shirt. Look at this face. Look, look. Y'all looking right now? Look, right okay. here. That, that needs to be in a shirt, face. just like that. That is a handsome face right there. I love it. Good. <laughs> Get down, get Josh. I'm not saying, no, no. In in real life, I don't. I'm just saying right now at this angle with this lighting. You look good. My beard the way it is right now. Just yeah. It's Wink. Obviously, there's no stopping him now. Nope. There's no stopping him. I mean, we talked wolf? about this fucking movie long enough. Might as well talk about something I like myself. You know what? And they talk about that. I'm full of it. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Uh, so we gotta go get some more cookies at the house. I gotta look up crumbles and go get some more. And that WWE event I went to last night was freaking dope as fuck. Oh was yeah. Punk was CM- yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> no, Punk CM Punk was not there. But um Fuck that guy. Yeah, Seth went off a little bit on that. Um, who else was I there? Bite my tongue. Bite my tongue about that. They had a world title match that was a, a triple threat match with Shinsuke Nakamura and Drew McIntyre and Seth for the title. And then they also had a triple threat for the women's title with uh, Io Sky, Charlotte, and Bianca Belair. You know, and they had a couple other good matches. Uh, say, America, Dustin Rose was there. Um, who else showed up? Who was it? Cody. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, right. Cody <laughs> was there. Right. Cody was there, and he took on the Miz. And then um, it was a Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits. They showed up too, and they just put a hurting on them on LWO. So that was pretty cool. It was a good show. You know what I really liked when the Street Profits were fighting against those Viking guys. When they had that series, and they, like they were feuding that whole time, and then they all ended up being friends because they all like that over that back during the the world shutdown days, and they they had the arena, whatever things, and then yeah, you know what I mean. That was that was some good stuff. That was a good story. Hey, it was entertaining. That's all it really was. I mean, it wasn't nothing about tag team wrestling. Now, now it was all about it. No, it was it, it was it was not. It was, it was comedy. It was good comedy. Yeah, that's all it was. It kind of brought down the integrity of the titles, though, I felt. So I'm glad they're not doing that anymore. I'm glad. It was, it was, a, good, it was a good episode. That was pretty nice because we were pretty close. Sometimes when I stood up, you really saw how close that you were when everybody was sitting down, you know? And you was like, man, because we was like in the ninth row, you know? So that was pretty dope, you know? So that's the shit. Doing the I, integrity of I'm going the back. Titles. Yes. Integrity to the tag team titles. We're talking about the integrity of a belt for people that don't wear pants. (laughs) So, what's your problem? You remember you said that people got pants? Josh, listen to me right now. You don't mess with me. Okay, you know how my passion is about this. I believe it. I still still believe that. I I still know that Eddie Guerrero. I still know it's Eddie Guerrero is still Dominic Mysterio's father. He I fucking still, looked like him at, at, at Survivor Series. Deborah pointed it out when he, when he turned his back, he had that black and white outfit on with the long hair. Deborah's like, I don't want to say it, but he looks like Eddie. Yep. Like I said, right. Let me, let me look, live my he, moment. He doesn't look anything like Ray. That, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, I got to see Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. Great night for me. There you go. There you go. And Kevin Owens showed up. All right, I'm good. (laughs) All right, y'all. So I think we're done. We're doing. We we should have started with the banter, but I was like, "Fuck this movie!" Just right off the right off the gates. I think this came in hot, Josh. This is the first episode that we just went straight into the movie. Like you didn't let us fall off to the sides until now. He, he, God, it is what it is. You, you, yeah. you went on, uh, you went on and on like they did in the beginning. On of the and movie. on and on and on and on and on and on. And on. All right, y'all. So <sighs> this has been the cast of the pod podcast. I've been told that I need to point that out because when they do searches and all that, 
we need to point out that it's the cast of the pod podcast i'm like it's cast of the pod it's podcast is in the name but no, <laughs> i get it. We, it we have to point out is the cast, cast of the pod, of the pod. podcast, podcast. Hmm. okay okay yeah all right so until next time y'all thank you for spending time with us because even though i'm always asking for your money <laughs> One of the best things you can give us is your time because your time can't be replaced. So enjoy your time with your friends, your family, spending time with us because we feel like y'all are our friends too. But yep. until next time, I'm Josh. I'm Cobweb. And I'm Deb. And I know this is past Thanksgiving, but happy belated or happy late Thanksgiving because we didn't say it the last podcast. Yeah. Well, this is our, our Christmas season. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Now you got to stop fucking going. <laughs> one hundred episodes. <laughs> it's okay. One hundred episodes. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. wait now, now, now like I was, ju- I was about to let everybody fucking go. Now we got a Merry Christmas and Feliz Navidad, Joyous Noel, um, Happy Hanukkah, Joyous Kwanzaa, and if you don't believe in any of that stuff happy whatever today is to you that's a cop yeah. out happy today day happy I, today. I mean i got what i believe in and if i if i'm saying merry christmas to you i don't celebrate well fuck you i'm just saying have a good day josh I'm, come I'm, on I'm, man i'm sending you positive <laughs> i'm sending you positive energy and you're like i don't need your fucking positive energy I'd be like okay i'm sorry my bad happy tuesday or whatever fucking day it is to you June. yeah I have no idea what to say, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, everybody. Happy holidays. <laughs> 100 episodes. I've done yes. this for 100 episodes. Help me. No, this is this, <laughs> no, no. This is this is 99. Yes, yeah, is 99. I already see. I already see the light at the next, end of the tunnel. <laughs> next week will be 100. Next week we're gonna come with like New Year's Eve hats and the. Bloop.